I don't know, it's just a feeling. To me, everybody appears to be so important. Uh, I look at anybody and I find that he's so <laughs> valuable and is so important. Uh, Mr. Uh, Umar, what do you say? Umar? Uh, whether... Uh, <laughs> who? Are <laughs> <laughs> Is he really important or you have just said it? <laughs> and how about yourself? <laughs> you, you don't feel it whether you are important or not. It never occurs whether you are important or not. But when you look at somebody, you would find he is very important. Mr. Munavar was speaking from here and I thought he is speaking from there. Uh, are you very important, Mr. Munavar? Uh, you don't, you never, it occurs, it never occurs to you that you are important or not. And it never occurred even whether others are important or not, till you told me. And now I find that everybody is so important. Mr. Sheikh, how important are you? Just imagine, but for you all, uh, I mean, nothing, we wouldn't have been sitting here. Everyone is extremely important person. It's a question of feeling. I do not know in the National Bank of Georgia how they, one feels the importance of the other. Uh, let, just give me one answer. Do you ever care to feel others important or unimportant? Pardon? They are very important. See each individual in isolation and see in the context of the organization how important is he. So, Tell me, are you, I think you are very important. Anybody who contributes even this much is so important. And you all contribute so much. And leave aside contribution, your life, the importance of your life. How valuable is the life factor in you and life? And you are the God's creation. How important you are, how could you not be important? It's just not possible, Mr. Muzaffar. You're an extremely important person. Everybody is important. I do not know Mr. Bukhari thinks of others as important or not. Have you, it's not a question, have you ever been used to feeling others important? Is not Mr. Vase extremely important? Leave aside X person in having some weaknesses in your opinion and or not be as capable as you think, although your thinking and my thinking is not always right. I'm sorry. How about you? Mr. Next to you, Mr. Bukhari. Chanda, how, how do you think? Mr. Lokman Khan, you are very important. I'm not saying, just one feels. And look at Mr. Kelani, he's so important. <laughs> really? Believe it. Name anybody. Uh, why should I feel everybody important? I want you to experience this because this is my gain. When I experience this, I'm uh, I'm the gainer, the gentleman there. How about you, at the corner, Mr. Mr. Lynch? Yes, Mr. Patrick Lynch. You also want to speak on some subject. What is that? What that? Uh, first of all, let me know whether the gentleman sitting on your right is very important or not. Absolutely. And then, what was the subject you wanted to speak on? Thank you, Mr. Patrick Lynch. I think unless somebody is really pining or extremely anxious to Mr. speak of humility, um, in the, in the in, in interest of time we would uh, proceed to the next subject, but I had some voice from somewhere. Um, please, Mr. Kamran, it is so uh, true what you have said, and please let me tell you that I am, ex in my experience, seeing of you, you are a very important person, I feel. Now, I have got another feeling, another experience through which I am passing, irrespective of the fact 
when we judge others how able they are professionally in our, in this organization we also judge how good they are as human beings but even if in my subjective view somebody has a fault or he is not as much of the quality as i in my subjective view would like him to be he does not become less important to me believe it i always experience and i am experiencing now what happens is that he remains equally important to me except that it adds to my responsibility that whatever he is lacking should be added to him this is a honest feeling and that is where my personally my the enormity of my task arises and begins it's all the time there's one effort that human resources the human being the most precious and the most valuable of all the creation they are important they are very important if you are a very important person and it is my responsibility whatever and whoever i am good or bad i can't help making an effort to contribute something if i can and if it is maybe it is or it maybe it is not i am again saying in all sincerity which may appear to be humility i don't know who i am and how able i am but i must like to add something so the enormity of our task lies in the first acceptance and recognition of the importance of every human life and human being two that he has something good in him i can't measure he may have all good in him and he should see that what can i do and what can we do and what can the management do to add something to him a human being as dr el meleghi has said as a universe in himself he is a totality he is an energy plus psyche he is all enabling quality we are talking of the two third of the ocean's resources on the surface in the water on the bed of the ocean and beneath and be underneath the bed what is that resource that you are going to exploit in the case of human being it's not exploitation it's promotion and it's uh, useful util utilization so human resource is the most valuable and you would see you would know that in the history of bcc how much premium we add to human beings what importance we give who is the person in our organization who once comes and he is not respected he is not become a full member of the family and what is the turnover in this organization the turnover is only when a man wants to go otherwise he is never asked to go he has his own value in his own way whether whatever he does and there is always a contribution directly indirectly or otherwise humility is been discussed uh, not as a philosophical uh, discourse or a subject humility has been discussed to be experienced and we understand the value of humility in personal lives in social life in the context of management if we have understood to sum it up if we have understood what humility is and if we have started experiencing and if we relate it to bcc then a few things that occurred to me 
yesterday, if humility is power, as silence is, or the container of all sound, and humility is the container of all existence, being a state of no existence, humility, then BCC is becoming in the volume and power of humility. It is growing, becoming, shaping, happening in the volume and power of humility. Then if humility is transcendence into a higher state of being, then BCC is becoming in this process of transcendence if humility is synonymous with majesty, then BCC is living in majesty. If humility is eternity, then BCC is becoming in the sense of hum eternity. Then we are living and becoming in the sense of eternity and we are not only becoming but living, living in eternity. If humility is the s essence and source of creation, then we are living in that. If humility is this real spirit of existence, the real way of living, then BCC is living in that. And if humility is the will of God, and the desire of God, then BCC is living in God. And that's all that humility is. And that is the importance of humility. But humility, uh, BCC would be living in real humility if you experience and feel what humility is because BCC lives in you. Where is BCC? Whether it is your hope, BCC is in your hope. Whether it is a spirit, BCC is in your spirit. It lives in your spirit and it grows there. If you are humility, then BCC is living in your humility. And if humility has a value that we have been discussing all these two days, then BCC would be living in this great value, in this great power. And imagine what it can become. And your humility is not relating you are not relating your humility to each other within the organization. You are relating this humility in relation to humanity, which is your marketplace. And then you are relating this humility to God. What else do you want? It's the ultimate of life. We thought that at some moment during this conference we would feel humility jointly in the same moment. We are all very humble people. BCC is the name of humility. BCC is the soul of humility. Now we would move on to the next subject which is of course interlinked with this and there is a long list of speakers. It's already 1.30. We would like to go for lunch at 2.30 come back at 3.30, discuss interfusion till 4.30 and then come to marketing and discuss for three hours marketing. Uh, I would request uh, Mr. 
Tess, whom I have already introduced to you, to initiate the discussion on interfusion. But before that, I would just say very few words about what we are going to discuss when we are talking of interfusion because I want to give a context to this discussion. Interfusion is the ultimate of communication in an organization. Communication, as is said, is the bloodstream flowing within the body of an organization. But communication is not saying and hearing and talking. Communication is much more than that. I will explain what it is. Communication is knowing what Mr. Walker would tell me or Mr. Battistini would express to me and also feeling what he had said. So in interfusion, it's not only the exchange of ideas or interfusion of ideas but feelings. This is one context. It is the feelings which contain the ideas and thoughts which is articulated and communicated to me in words and I hear it. I take those words not only into my hearing but into my psyche, into my feelings. I would expect Mr. Battistini to put across and send to me his thoughts in however articulated manner it may be, but loaded with his energy. I would like him to send them to me, ideas duly energized. That is communication. When you talk with feelings, it is different. When you talk without feelings, it is different. I stopped short at a point when I wanted to have a joint feeling of humility because I was, my feelings started overflowing it and I had to control. This is such a big meeting where I can't let my feelings loose. But whatever I was saying, it was all energized. And if I had gone a little further, there might have been better interfusion of that humility and better experience, joint experience, but I had to hold it at a point beyond which at that particular, in that particular situation I shouldn't have gone. So this is what interfusion is, communication in its ultimate form.